Continuing on, Pisces. All right, so. What do we have here? Let's start with the Liner Mard. The Liner Mard. L E N O R M A N D. Liner Mand. Liner Mand. See, by the end of this, I even learned to pronounce hard words. The Liner Mand. Like a letter man. Kind of. All right. That'll at least make me remember it better. Maybe I should take off my magician hat. Okay. And put on my sexy smart glasses instead. All right. So I'm going to start with this specific deck. So you start with a messenger. I'll let you see it in a minute. Um, because these are all like one basic symbol, but there's a lot of meaning and depth within the one symbol. And then I pulled kind of a complicated tarot deck because there's many symbols in that. So before we get to the many symbols, let's start with a simple slash complicated one. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, um, that's cute. That was under the bottom of the bottom deck. You got some clovers. So whatever you're thinking about, thinking about is like bathed in clover. You got some luck on your side. Maybe that's why I brought the greenery in for you. Maybe you need to go into nature. Maybe nature is calling you Pisces. All right, so putting that aside, what do I have? I have the rider. This is number one. Uh, that's cool. Actually, that's, um, we got a repeat for you, Pisces, look, because this is a number one, too. It's not in the same position, but you still got a double whammy, double whammy for the universe on the magician. So maybe I should keep the hat on. Maybe I should just look like a loony right now, you know? Look at this. I kind of look like I fit right into the gloss. But let's go back to the rider. So you got this sexy girl on a horse. She's wearing like a bikini. She's got her bag packed to go on a trip. Not too much, just an overnight bag. I can't see with my glasses. They actually don't work. We're going to keep the hat, take off the glasses. We're going to adapt. It's like life. If you're on the merry-go-round, it doesn't just go like this. Unless you chose the weird seat with the other weirdos that choose to sit on the merry-go-round with no excitement at all and just sit in the one that doesn't move. You're a little bit more of the exciting rider. Or there is a more exciting rider coming into your life, Pisces. You get the rider in the bikini riding that rainbow and you're going up and down like life. Life has its ups and life has its downs. It has its cycles. It goes around. You could write a little song about that. Maybe you need to write some songs. Maybe Pisces needs to do some writing. She is holding a letter. So she, there is something. She's either gotten a letter or she's giving one. So she's got her little red riding hood cape coming down with her bikini and or lingerie showing underneath. She's got a gorgeous horse. She chose one that matched her outfit. This could also be a dude rider. It doesn't have to be a girl. You could be a dude in a sexy banana hammock. All right, so you have your ups and your downs of life. All right, you're going around, but this is a journey. This is the one. This is the magician. This is the one that's taking that step and the jumping off the freaking merry-go-round and going on a journey on that rainbow. It's like Rainbow Bright came into your life, and you're you're on. What did what was her horse's name? It's Rainbow Bright and Starlight, or nah, if anyone remembers Rainbow Bright. <laughs> 
her horse flew. You know, she rode the rainbow. She closed, she made a rainbow everywhere she went and it made a path for her to fly over shit, into stuff. It was like magic. She was like the magician. So this is like the rainbow bright card that you got. Check her out. So she's jumping off her merry-go-round into the forest here in the background. Even though it's a little bit dark, she has her own rainbow to light her way. So she's not worried about the dark. She's on her mission. Her bag is packed for her overnight journey. And she's taking it. This is also the Nine of Hearts. Nine is also a completion card. But then it's a one. So one in other decks is the Magician. It's taking all of those tools in your toolbox. Taking your nerd glasses and putting your brain in gear. Taking those talents you have those abilities and those skills to do detective work. Everything is on your table for you. You just have to go on your journey now. Your journey is waiting and you're either going to jump on that horse with her or she's coming your way or you are her. Okay? So, she doesn't even have her shoes on. She doesn't need her shoes where she's going. She's feeling her way on the earth. All right, so she's got a message with her. What kind of message is this? What kind of journey is she going on? She's prepared, and she's ready to leap into it, even if she's got to fly there or make a spaceship or figure out some magic to make it happen. It's going to happen, Pisces. This is a good way to start. We're beginning with something new. We're beginning with magic. You're realizing that you have the ability by what you think and what you connect your heart and your mind to and making that positive and awesome and thinking good thoughts <laughs> and making the world around you like a magical mystery superhero, you know, video game journey. That is your reality. You're over the game of chess and the the black and the red and the pawns. You're over that. You've moved up to video game level now. You're creating everything in front of you. You're finding those secret tunnels into other levels and different worlds. And you're going. Maybe you're going on that journey because a little birdie told you. Now you got all this information going on. Now this could be like, it's 12, so it's completing something getting to the end of something so you can start something new. So, you know, maybe it's like birds of a feather flock together. You know, maybe you're not flocking with the birds around you anymore and you need to find a bird you flock with. You know, it could be, it's usually a couple. Usually there's two birds. And a couple situation but what happens when you have a lot of birds in a tree when my sister and I walk down the street in New York and certain trees have a bird convention going on as we go they are very loud there's a lot of activity and talking going amongst those birds they need to have their morning meetings so they make a lot more sound and cause a lot more ruckus than just one little birdie singing his little song away so maybe this is gossip Maybe gossip is coming to your life and you're ready to flock away with someone else. Maybe you're going to go on your own little journey instead and get away from the yucking bitty body birds. But it's messages. This could be like texting or emails or videos or phone calls or weirdos in the hall or people you bump into in the store. Or this could be literal birds in your life, which can be connection to spirit the physical world around you having a direct connection to nature spirit god it's like god's little way of being right there because birds are kind of always around you don't notice it all the time but they're kind of always there you know they're not they're not stuck to the sea like the fish they can be sitting in that tree there they can be hanging on a wire they can be on your 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 ledge of your window singing outside when you wake up. They could be flying in front of your car. They could be anywhere. So maybe there's some birds giving you messages, Pisces. We're sensitive. So if some birds come in your 
life for some reason. Maybe they're telling you to look out. Maybe some feathers are going to find their way to you and tell you that the angels and the universe and everything is there. They got your back. And your journey is waiting for you. You're always safe. You're always protected. And you've got a journey ahead of you. So let's see what kind of journey you have. You have a journey that's a breakthrough. A journey that is involving the Hierophant. So perhaps you're breaking through by breaking out. Breaking away from structure and going on your own journey instead. Um, but, you know, again, let's go back to this card before I move on. You're going to have a couple videos. I hope you're with me. Um, this is also nature. You know, you have birds outside. So maybe you're, you know, it looks like this should be here. Maybe you need to go outside. Maybe you haven't gone outside enough. You felt a little stuck in the dark, you know, season of your ups. Maybe you had a down spell. A down. But you're ready to come up now. So come up into the sunshine. Wake up. Take a shower. Stretch out. Put your creative hat on. Pack your bag. Get your underwear and get ready for your journey. You know? Maybe you're doing this journey because you got some knowledge. You have the book. Knowledge came into your world. This knowledge can be private. It can be secret knowledge that only you have. Secret studies, something you've been looking at, diving into inquiring about um, but it's also knowledge that is putting you in a position of uh, being able to make a better choice having more power having intelligence having wisdom it's funny you have I'm getting ahead of myself with the next card but this is 26 and then you have 25, so you you have like a 25 and 26. But you have this first, so you're almost going backwards to go forwards somehow. So, what's in your book of knowledge? What have you been wondering about? What has come to you lately that has made you feel more wise, Pisces? What's in your book of secrets? What's in your page, in your new chapter? on your new cycle what are you writing down are you sitting writing beautiful things in your book you know are you creating a gorgeous story for yourself it's your choice don't create yourself a horror story don't create yourself a story of worry or confusion you know ultimately you are um, the most in touch with everything here and heaven above. You're the one that connects heaven and earth together. The Pisces is the one foot in the one horizon, the one foot in the other horizon, and that line in between. You're the one that can connect heaven and earth. You're the one that is the magician. You're the one that has the capability of using all of this knowledge that you have and all of the tools right in front of your freaking face given to you. All of the signs that are given to you. And create the most gorgeous story you never thought you could even come up with. You got that writing thing again. You gotta write your own story here. Or you've been looking into somebody else's story maybe. Maybe somebody else was a secret and that's starting to come to light and that page is looking different to you because it was always locked before and now it's opening up a little bit but you can only read the one page at a time move through it perhaps it's one of those stories where you get to the end of the story and then you create a new chapter and you go a different path and it doesn't matter because the end in the end you always end up somewhere awesome all right we're gonna have a part three because i'm not even close to finishing this for you pisces so See you soon.